Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. I love to dream. Sometimes I prefer it. Cause when I'm awake, nothing's for certain. Oh my god, it's recording. <laughs> okay guys, I have my microphone because I'm really far away from my camera. It's the first day of the year. Well, it's not, no, it's not the first day of the year. It's like the 6th of January. But it's the first full day that I'm back in the studio when I'm not doing something boring. Well, here's the thing. I had a leftover job from last year that I had to do when I first got into the studio. I didn't have time to film it. And it was just creating some work for no... Excuse me, I'm filming a video <laughs> <Sorry>. here. <laughs> anyway, it's just creating some stickers for notability. I mean, I can put a quick run out here. Bang, 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 bang. It'll be on my Instagram soon. The process of it all. Anyway, I'm back in the studio. I'm feeling so refreshed because we kind of were forced to have a really long break. As you know, I got COVID. So I had like a wedding to go to. Then I had a getaway with my family, which you saw in the last video of the year. Well, the second last video of the year. Then we got COVID. So we had to stay inside for like a week and a half, whatever. And then it was Christmas. So we spent time with family. Then it was New Year. So we, I decided to have a break till the third because that's when I remember going back to work when I worked at a design agency. So I was like, I'll just go back when people go back because I want to take a break. And one of my New Year's resolutions is to have more fulfillment and better balance in my life. So that's first step. But anywho, we don't need to talk about that right now. Right now, I'm going to show you something. This is a wall calendar. Chris and I had a meeting about setting more structured deadlines so that he and I can have better lives. So I got this wall calendar. But to be honest, I got this wall calendar before we had that meeting. This is just because I got it because it was pretty and it's Reza Graf printed and it's going to be cute. And so my plan with this is not to write stuff down, but just to put like stickers or something when there's something on the day so I can refer to my planner. Chris is trying to convince me to use Google calendars and I don't like non-physical planners besides Notion. But anyway, so we're going to remove some of this stuff and put up my little planner Rooney. My computer isn't here because I moved it to over there because I wanted to use it as a reference while I was working on my iPad for one of my sketches. So the footage that you saw at the start of this video was me the day before, probably I think it was the 2nd of Jan, preparing the studio for work, but now it's already messy. So ignore everything you've just seen. I'm going to put this here while I do this. Hopefully it's loud enough. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Blue tack is not cool. Blue tack is out. Yay, wall calendar. So this video, I'm focusing on doing a decal for our studio door. I'm like really short. Ignore, I'm in the bottom of the screen. I'm going to start sketching now. I have like a kind of idea of what I want to do, kind of like bubble writing, which is what I always do. And then we're going to design it and then send it off and then put it on my door. So this one's going to be a small one because I do have to prep to go to Singapore, which I just booked return flights for. I'm very excited, but anyway. First of all, do you approve of this wall planner? I got it from Papersmiths. It's amazing. Oh, let me show you my planner for this year. I freaking love it. So my favorite stationery store in the UK did a collaboration with my favorite planner company. So the planner company is Appointed & Co. And my favorite planner they get every year is the Year Task Planner. It's basically the best. I have a planning video if you want to watch it that goes into detail about this planner. And then my favorite stationery store in the UK, Papersmiths, did a collab for this mustard linen cover, which I've been dying for them to make a mustard cover. And I've been dying for them to make a more bright cover. So like, this is a dream. So happy. Worth the shipping. Let's get started on brainstorming for the decal. I'm going to do sketching first because I love sketching in Procreate and then we're going to put it into Fresco to do a vector artwork because with a decal it's best to do it with the vector artwork which means you can blow it up to any size if you want to. Initially I'm thinking like bubble writing right and I'm used to doing this because I do it for my titles. All my titles for my YouTube videos are hand drawn. My initial idea something like this with like sparkles and I really think I'm going to go with this idea. Other things could be like a flower on each side. Right now I'm just doing like initial brainstorming this can be super messy and then we'll do a refined sketch. Oh, you know, I love the flowers. Maybe I should do it like this. Be quite cute, right? And make it like straight. Cute. Do I dare? Let me show you these decals that I made. Basically, they're like giant sticker decals that look like this kind of. 
they were really pretty so I think I might do something like that unless I want to do lots of stuff like do I make it crazy what else how so decal you might as well right how do we make it less a circle of things with the page and more integrated another idea would be illustrative lettering so for example a could be a mountain I mean that would be really fun wouldn't it that could be an apple core like with bandits I mean maybe one thing in each word because I really don't want to spend too long on this it's not like it's my logo but could it be I don't love this idea as much I've just I do like that but <clears throat> I don't like it as much because like, I can't think of something to put into this actually it's kind of cute <laughs> oh I mean this can be a Y can't it that doesn't really look like a Y does it, it looks like a J what about the U? The U could be an upside down rainbow, but I hate that they're all on one side. Oh, an E could be like this. The stem, the leaf, and the flower. Yeah, what else can I do? I love including some, it is fun. How do I do it? Do I just do stars where things should be? I love this, don't I? Dang, I love that, but it needs more thought put into it. Then it just becomes kind of like a logo that I can use on everything, doesn't it? Well, how would I do it if it was just the Furry Little Peach? Let's see that. I think maybe like the base logo should just be bubble writing text and then there's like these graphics around it because then I have more freedom. I would want to change the logo on my website if I was doing this, which I am. It'd be cute to have colorful elements around the outside, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick sketch and we'll just see. I'm gonna follow this one. If I don't like it after I do the sketch, I'll do something else and then I'll show you the process and we'll have a chat afterwards. Guys, do I dare? Is this too crazy for like my front door? So my work over the years has like gained a lot of like iconography and like reoccurring um, motifs that I use throughout my work. I've kind of just been looking at like my postcards. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a quick mock up with color and a thicker digital pencil so that I can see how it would look on dark or as like a bold thing because I do love this idea. It is very interesting. Right, so let's just see how this goes shall we? Should we create a little color palette first hey? We want to avoid the darker colors because it's going to be on like a dark window but we also need it to work on like light as well. I'm trying to think if I want the rainbows to be primary colors or just warm. Probably primary. It looks like way more what I think of when I think of like my work. We've got the trees. I love this P. Oh my god I love this P so much. Hey sweetheart. This is very rough. Do you think that's cool or not? What's this for? The decal. Oh, and my, and the my door. website. Do you think that's cool? Do you think something more simple like that? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like it's cool, but then imagine this on my website as well. And I think it should be the same on both. My thinking is that there's a lot of iconography in my work that reappears and it's fun. Also, this isn't permanent. And I it's... can just take it off my website too. What do you think? I think that'll be very fun. It'll be fun too. And I'm not here to be a professional designer. I'm here to be fun. a fun. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to share my work that you're working on? Or sure. Do you want to? Here's a photo shoot that I did recently. Wait, that's our car. That is our car. I do like that. This? Yeah, it looks so 90s to me. Yeah. Like the lighting and like the background and stuff, it's so cool. So should I go with this, do you think? Like really think though, should I go with this sweetheart? I feel like the like just white plain design is more classic for like on the door. Yeah. But who really cares? May as well just have fun with it. I yeah. love the P. The P is very cute. I like a... That's so basic. But it's nice, like it could be a sticker what, by itself. What else could this tea be? And I do think there's too many of these branches. It could be a couple paint brushes to show that you're an Ooh, artist. <laughs> that's a pet, two pencils, okay, thank you. So everybody, this is where I've edited art. I loved the pencil idea, but instead of doing it for the T, I did it for the L, and I think it works really nicely. I'm gonna treat myself to a bubble tea, because it's that time of day. It is hot. We are in summer. I know a lot of you are overseas, maybe in the Northern Hemisphere, and it might be winter for you, but for me, it's summertime, and I want a bubble tea. It's a good way to break up my day, even though I should probably have less sugar in my life, because I'm 30 now. I love this, and guess what? Here is my conclusion. I'm not a design agency. This is purely for you guys and for me and my door and my website. I'm not like doing branding for anyone. I'm just having fun and I can change this at any time. So I'm just gonna take a risk and just make this crazy decal and put this crazy thing on my website, I think. And it's fine if I actually hate it and it's detrimental to my business, which it won't be. But if it, for example, hypothetically, if it was, I could just easily change it quickly because that's, it's easy to get a decal made. It's easy to replace like an image on my logo for my website. So yay. Okay, bubble tea time. Would you like bubble tea? Let's do it. Yay, I'll order on my app. Okay, we are back. Look, apple green tea with watermelon jelly. 
no sugar. I'm feeling really good about this idea and I'm feeling like YOLO. That's what I feel. And I don't really feel naturally like YOLO, but I'm trying to be a bit more YOLO if YOLO was still a phrase. I'm trying to be a bit more like carefree and kind of just chase the things, like chase the projects and little things that I want to do throughout the year because that's going to make up how I feel about my entire year. I know I'm probably going to slip up a little with this. I'm going to try and keep it going at the start of the year at least. Apparently it takes like 19 days or something to abandon a New Year's resolution. So I've still got a little bit of time. I've still got 10 days. So let's get started on vectorizing. The vectorizing process is taking the sketch, the original sketch, including the color palette, putting it into Adobe Fresco and then just redrawing it essentially. It's pretty easy. Easy. Then I'm gonna send it off to Chris. I'm hoping to get it done today. This is like a one-day project. It's pretty awesome. Let's do it. It looks good. Can you tell me if it tastes like the American one? Because I don't think it will. You know how I use Fresco for vector illustrations? I usually can send it to my computer, but I couldn't, it wouldn't work. So then I just sent a PNG to my computer, but it's not good. Wait, are you live tracing? I'm trying, but why can't I just look exactly the same? That's my question. Anyway, well, I'm gonna go do my work, but enjoy your Cinnabon. I hope you have fun. I'll see you soon. I hate live trace. I'll never use live trace. I'd rather draw something from scratch than use live trace. Why is it not a vector? It is a vector, but it wasn't working. It says cannot do, cannot do, whatever. Can I expand this? Expand. Why? Why is it doing this to me? Hi, I'm trying to be fast in my life this year, and it's ruining my life. It won't stop spinning. I feel annoyed because my life's about to be about balance this year. And it's seven o'clock and I've been trying to deal with this for like an hour or 30 minutes and it's not good for me. So I could be at home with my tongs, sipping on a nice water, playing Pokemon. <gasps> it worked. Just did that work? I don't, I don't see it. <gasps> yes, it's here. Yes, it's happened everyone. Sometimes my vector work is not very good. Oh, do not like that. You know what I don't like? That looks like Rory Little Peach. Is it easier to do it on your iPad and resend it? Is, it is. So I stop that. Oh. Definitely Rory Little Peach. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it worked. Hi everyone. I was going through the footage from yesterday and my card ran out, so whoopsies. It's a very late start today. It's like late in the afternoon. It's about 3.50 right now, but we got in about 3.30. I'm not gonna explain why, because it's gonna take forever. I'll just put on the screen. Bang. Yesterday, I sent off my stuff to Chris, and then I realized that I have to create a bleed because when you do a decal, you have to create a bleed so that when they cut it, if there's a slight misalignment, it's not so drastic. So that's really annoying. And I should have remembered that because I already know that, you know? Like I know that I have to do 
do that, why didn't I just do it? I'm gonna do that today. I'm just gonna let you guys watch that so I can focus on it. But in the meantime, I just wanna apologize for how blurry some of the footage is. I really have to get my lens slash camera serviced. The thing is I'm filming constantly throughout the month and sometimes they hold it for like weeks. I have to see where I can get it serviced, where it's gonna be fast and how fast it's gonna be. Please forgive me for any blurry footage unintentionally. It's really annoying. Trust me, it bothers me more than it bothers you. Like I, I die on the inside when I see the footage and it's not fully focused. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, let's do the bleed and the cut lines. I'm still yet to refine my process of taking it from Fresco onto Illustrator when I need to prepare it for things like this or when I need to give files to clients and stuff like that just because I'm not yet where I want to be for that and I can tell it's like slows me down and trips me up and whatever. But last, here we are. So first, let me just do this. Yes, and then this is going to be orange. So that's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this file and then I'm going to flatten these so it becomes easy to do the cut lines and stuff like that. This duplicate boom now it's safe to do whatever the hell i want onto this file remember to do things non-destructively and so a bleed is like five mil three mil depends i suppose on the people that you're working with let me do this first this is an easy one then we're gonna do the next bleed it's kind of like a long and arduous process i love to dream sometimes i prefer because when i'm away Okay, everybody, here's my solution. That was a lot easier than I thought. Basically what I'd usually do is I would try and extend each section, but because a lot of the texture wasn't touching each section, it was quite easy. And on top of that, this is not like public facing. This is not for the store. This is not for anything that is like you guys related. So even though it bothers me to have such messy bleed and such like kind of ugly, like it's not aesthetically pleasing in my opinion at all. P.S. This is what it looks like. It's just so that you guys know what a bleed is. But anyway, I would never really present it like this if it was for like a sticker. These bits are okay. These are horrible. But I just realized like, oh, this is a public facing, this bleed. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I really like this. I, I think this solution's really good. I do think it could be better. If you guys have like tips or solutions to creating bleeds quickly, especially when you're moving from Fresco to Illustrator, let me know. And if you have any tips of like collapsing clipping masks while you're in Illustrator that you haven't collapsed in this, if you've seen anything that I've done that could be done better, please let me know. But also please be nice to me because I'm sensitive. So it should only have two layers now. Why is that happening? Oh no, 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 no. Phew, sometimes it does that. I don't know if you can tell, but oh my God, that's embarrassing. I tried to use <laughs> desktop as a touch screen. Carol's are using multiple devices. What we've got now is both the bleed and the cut line. And so I'm thinking that the cut lines will be super easy. And I've expanded, I can probably go like this and do the cut lines like this and make sure it's on the outside. Put it on the outside. I can kind of see what it's gonna look like. Okay, not bad, I'm happy with that. So let's delete that. If you don't know what I just did, I was just making the stroke white and expanding it to see what the actual images would look like without, or to make sure that the cut lines were good. Save that. Save. Wow, thoughts, Chris? <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna put one of my art drawers. Cute. It's so heavy duty. It says it lasts for five years in the invoice. Is this the thing where you peel it off and you have peel to shake it, it? Not shake it, shake but like, yeah, sorry, yeah. with a stick or whatever. No, with a card. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. All right, now what do we do with them? There's so many. We'll put one on the door, I'll put one on my art drawer, and then the rest will be for like me. Put one right there. Chris, you can't put a decal on wood, are you insane? What happened? Nothing. Don't drop the goods. Sorry. You know what, I don't know how to do this. I've never done this in my life. Chris what? always does my decals for me. Do you want to call Chris up? Get him to coach you through it. Should I put it here? What should I do? I'll just here and yours can go up there. That's an old decal. Ooh, lassie. So before we started renting this place, it was vacant for like 10 years. So this has got to be old. I just woke up from a nap. This is too much. <laughs> Please be careful. Hold it on the back side. Careful of what? Cutting yourself. It's a oh, razor, you fool. Whoa, it really worked. Where'd you get this thing? That was 
was amazing. Will you hold this and keep it forever for memory's sake? You want to hold these forever as well? Yeah. Okay. You never know when we'll never have any more memories anymore. I'll put it in the photo album. I was passionately talking. Sweetie, be careful. You need to be careful. Sorry, I'm not used to holding a blade. This is my issue. When it's a blade, it. it's called wielding a blade, Sean. Get it right. I've never wielded a blade before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, John. All the people start laughing at me, his wife and him. It's so embarrassing. Oh. That took a long time. Alright, clean off that window, window wench. <laughs> So a decal, if you don't know, which I'm sure you know what that is, it's like you peel away one side slowly and then it sticks to the thing so you can see what it's going to look like. But first, where should we put it? Here? Here. Is that good? That. Looks pretty good. Jesus. That literally <laughs> went up so to your shoulders. Yeah, that I just... know. Okay, right. I love the color. You love it? Yeah, it's so bold. Yeah, it stands out here. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I thought it would be a good time to just give a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. Right now I'm updating my logo on my website just because it's done, you know what I mean? I might as well update it if it's on the door. Super easy process. As you guys know, I always say Squarespace is gorgeous. The back end's gorgeous and the front end and like what your users see is beautiful. But also it's so easy to make it be this way and it's also so easy to update your website. It doesn't have to be like, time to book in a day to update my website. You can do it moment by moment just because of how easy it is to do on Squarespace. I love it so much. It's my favorite, it's my one of choice. I would be using it if I wasn't sponsored by them. If you have not tried it, I definitely recommend it. Go to squarespace.com slash very little peach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Sorry about the honky in the background. I have a realization. I like how my videos used to be where it used to be like a single project or task in one video from start to completion. I think it's a lot more interesting to watch. It is a lot more stressful sometimes to create because you need to plan ahead. But I just think it's more interesting to watch. I kind of let myself do this thing where I took snapshots of my life, but I actually don't find it that interesting. I find it a bit like samey every single video. There's no goals. I also find it less motivating to watch because it's like, okay, a snapshot of your life. Holly Exley, who's like a watercolor artist and illustrator, made a video about her making a zine. And it reminded me of what I loved and what my goals were when I first started making videos, which was focusing on a single project because I think it's more motivating to watch when you see someone from start to finish finish a project. It makes it feel more like, oh, I can get up and do an, an, something that I've been wanting to do too. And part of my videos are entertainment. Part of my videos are like education in the way that I'm sharing what I know, but not trying to teach you in a lesson format. Also motivation because it's motivating for for me to look back on and I hope it's motivating for you but anyway so my intention with my channel this year is to do mostly videos that are like projects start to finish or goals start to finish and then my plan for my life oh look that's so pretty Chris says it gives him a headache and he can't understand why I would buy this my intention for this year is to be more fulfilled because I think I didn't do much that fulfilled me last year I had some very cool jobs and obviously being able to live off of what you do is very cool and I'm super grateful but I think while continuing that next year I want to feel like like I've, I've done more projects that I want to do by the end of the year. So that means changing my standards for when I take on jobs. I don't know what the word is, but basically, oh my God, it's perfect. It's gorgeous. Before Chris sends me a job by email, what is my standards for it? Is it bettering my brand if it's not a personal project? Is it paying me enough if it's not a personal project or like a charity project? All of these things. Oh, this is so good. Sorry, I'm all over the place today.